Dear colleagues and friends, visual outcomes and subjective visual quality of the bilateral implantation of diffractive trifocal intraocular lens and blended implantation of epidized diffractive bifocal intraocular lens. This was the title of our study. A considerable number of patients presenting for cataract surgery are interested in, or in reducing or eliminating their dependence on spectacles after surgery. This interest spurred a demand for accommodating or multifocal intraocular lenses with a wide variety of lens options now available to patients. Early models of multifocal IOL provided only two foci, near and distance, which posed an issue for those patients interested in intermediate vision. Intermediate vision might be considered the vision one uses when viewing products on a store shelf or when using a computer. There are two common options to provide better intermediate vision using a multifocal IOL. The first is to take a bifocal intraocular lens and reduce the add power. A modification of the bifocal approach is to use the intermediate bifocal in one eye of a patient and the near bifocal in the fellow eye. This is termed blended implantation. The second option is to design a trifocal IOL, one that has three separate foci. There is a trade-off with any multifocal intraocular lens, as light from several distances is being focused on the retina. Visual disturbances such as glare and halos are more commonly reported by patients implanted with multifocal IOLs. A question of interest is whether the additional focal point of trifocal IOL increases the potential for reduced visual quality. The clinical question addressed in our study was whether good visual acuity can be provided at the various distances without overlay compromising visual quality. We recruited 25 subjects implanted with blended bifocal approach and 30 subjects with bilateral trifocal IOL implanted. We measured the acuity in both groups at various distances, including their preferred reading distance. We also measured the defocus curve of each patient, characterizing their overall range of vision. Visual quality was assessed by measuring low contrast acuity and asking each subject to rate the quality of vision using a validated questionnaire. Our results indicated that both lens modalities provided subjects with excellent binocular near and distance vision with similar low rates of visual disturbances and good reported functional vision. Intermediate vision was slightly better with the trifocal lens in the range of 2 meters to 67 centimeters or about 6 feet to near 24 inches.